Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, oh shit, hello. Um, in the last episode, we went through Dranglet Castle, and I know I probably skipped a lot of stuff there, uh, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much for now. I might go back at some point. Uh, but now we're in what Am Amina, Amina Cave or Amina Falls? I don't even know what it's really called to be honest. Uh, and we have these guys everywhere who are just kind of throwing spells at us, but they're really easy to kill. Um, but I, the, the trick is, uh, their shots, like, have kind of a homing to them. So, you kind of have to, like, move in circles to get around them. Um, then if you get close enough, they don't even hit you. But if there's multiple guys around, they can all kind of hit you. This reminds me of, like, the last area in, uh, Demon Souls. Um, if you watched my Demon Souls Let's Play or you played Demon Souls on your own, it was, like, this big, like, tree branch covered thing. Um, and I don't want to, like spoil anything so i won't um but yeah this area i i'll be honest i accidentally like i, I got really curious and i didn't want to record more i uh ooh, fire steep cool i never use those but i have them if i want to um backstab them so i, I kind of explored just a little bit just to kind of see what i was getting myself into because i like to kind of have an idea before i just fully go for it well, i think if i stand right here i'll stay safe there's a big gross ogre man over there uh, that I'd rather not fight. I'm trying to decide if I want to use Estus right now. I might as well. It looks like... Actually, I have no idea what's over there. But I also don't want this guy messing with me, so we're going to use this spell, and then we're going to run after him. Oh god, that was close. Oh, and then there's... Oh fuck, there are just a bunch of dudes over here trying to kill me. I should have Estus. Oh, wait, I did Estus. It's good that I Estus. Oh no. That was dumb. So these guys aren't really that difficult. They just kind of sit around in the water, and they're kind of just jerks. Um, I think I'm going to try to kill this guy, though, because usually when they show something like him, that means that there's something behind him. So we're going to just shoot arrows at him. Um, if it'll let me lock onto him. Oh, God. I forgot how far these guys can attack. Oh, no. Uh, I actually don't like fighting him because of how the water is here. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, fuck. What was that? I feel like I just saw something. Am I going crazy? I might be. So we'll just kind of shoot him with a couple arrows. Ah, this might take a while. But you know, usually, you they have the good stuff. Like the one in the beginning of the game has a really awesome ring that I'm pretty sure I'm still wearing. It's the stone ring, and it lowers enemies, um, what's that word? Stability, but that's not it. I can't think of it. It's been a while since I've played. Uh, like, I recorded, like, six episodes in a row. And I've been really, really busy with school and work and uh, working on some freelance projects. Um, look at all the arrows just sticking out of his face. Uh, the nice thing is we have him in this, like, nice aggro spot where he gets aggroed because he's shot, but I'm just beyond where he'll go, um, which is kind of cheap. Uh, but that doesn't happen too much in the game. But there are definitely a few times where it does happen. See, this is why having arrows is good. I am really, really glad. I've said it a few times, but I'm so glad that I started using a bow and arrow because uh, it's super helpful for situations like this. See? And I still have 800 arrows, too. Um, so I lost whatever souls I had uh, after beating a boss. I don't remember. Oh, I don't, I don't want to go too far out here. Maybe that guy really is just there to kind of fuck with you. Or maybe they're trying to, like, hey, just so you know gonna be running into some of these guys be ready for it that could be it I'm surprised he didn't drop anything right, so what's going on in here nothing is this just like a oh, okay it's hard to see I feel like something's gonna jump out of the water and get me old radiant large silver proud knight cool Cool, cool. This whole area is pretty interesting. I'm not really sure what the point of it is, but I, I'm intrigued. Which... Oh shit, hello! So this guy is actually using a weapon. Not that sorcery isn't a weapon. Oh god. Get him. Alright, I'm gonna hop back in here real quick. Whew. Those soul arrows are pretty strong. Well, the other thing, too, is I'm, like, all physical defense, and I have no defense against, uh, magic, really. That's okay. Those guys are so easy to kill. Ah, oh, fuck. 
God damn it. The problem is when there's multiple that can shoot you at a time. I should probably be rolling. There we go. Because, like, these guys don't do anything when you get close to them. They just try to use the same So Fuck you! Well, I guess they do swing at you. Alright, so we can't, this one can't hit me, it looks like. Cool. Uh... I'm gonna use another Estes. God, I feel like I'm using... I'm already, already used four. Ah, oh, fucking... No, actually, that was... If I was gonna get hit, that was a good time for it. Oh, and there's more dudes over here, too. Jeez. <gasps> Whoa, my goodness. Fuck you. Hit him. How many fucking guys are there? Jesus. Ugh. No! Estes. Estes! No! God damn it. Alright. Fuck, man. This part's tough. Alright, so I spent more time uh, just trying to look at where I can use, like, my bow and arrow to kill these guys. And uh, I was able to, like, kill two of them from, like, really... Actually, three of them from, like, really, really far away. Um, and it really seems like the key to this is cheesing them by standing behind these pillars and then kind of sneaking a shot in. Um, but I really don't like this area. Um, it's really frustrating, and I don't know how I would do any of this without a bow and arrow. Oh, did I just completely... No, he's over there. I was like, did I just completely make up where that one was? All right, I think I killed that one. Yeah. So, yeah, if you don't have a bow and arrow, you're pretty much fucked for this area, to be honest. Um, it's not even that it's, like, difficult. There's just so much shit happening at once. That's where the difficulty comes from. Um, and I know one of these guys are down here. Can he get up here? Oh shit, and there's another one over there. Another magic man. Hey, actually, where? Oh, yeah, that's right, there's one right, right behind him where he was. Oh no, ah shit, I fucking. I didn't realize I still had my bow and arrow out. That was really stupid. That could have killed me if he would have hit me, and if I would have got hit by magic at the same time. Ah, uh, but yeah, so being far away and just seeing where you can shoot arrows from is definitely the easiest way to do this. Um, Where's the other one at that we're shooting? And you have those guys over there. Unless it's just one like on the other side, like over, it's just so hard to see. I wonder if I can see better with like binoculars. Wait, that's not where binoculars are. Yeah. No, I think you get the exact same amount of view with either of them. That's kind of dumb. Not dumb, but I know <gasps> Oh, come on! Alright, so as long as I don't fall into any holes, which... I, it's so hard for me to see where those are. Oh, uh, you know what? No, I can see them now. It's still difficult. I just... It's... I think I can go this way. Um, the room I'm playing in, I have a TV, and the glare is pretty insane. This is why I try to only record at night, but I have stuff going on the rest of the day. <gasps> Fucker. Scared the shit out of me. Um, so I have to record now, and the glare, especially in this area, like for this area, is really, really diff making, is making it very, very difficult for me. Um, so there's a magic guy back there who I want to kill. Oh shit, actually, he's not. Well, he's magic, but I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Oh no. It looks like he buffs these guys. Which would make sense. Oh! Fuck. Okay, just get back, get back. It's okay. These guys aren't even that tough. Just kill one of them, and then kill the other one. That's all you gotta do. There you go. Alright. Definitely didn't want to end it that way. What is that over there? Yeah, I just want to kill him. I don't really want to know what he does. Fuck, if I can even hit him. Because I saw him kneel down and do something. Oh, he heals himself. Okay. That's a pain. I 
can't shoot arrows fast enough. So then let's do a little bit of damage. And then as soon as he goes to heal himself, then we'll kill him. Wait, do you do anything other than heal yourself? Also, what the fuck? Oh, I'm an idiot. That's what just happened. Does this guy do anything but heal? Alright, well, I'm just using... I'm just wasting arrows at this point. I want to walk over there and get that item, but if there's, like... I'm going to sink. If there's some specific path they want me to use. Okay, no, I'm good. Alluring Skull. That's not really what I would want, but I'll take it. I can't take this. Oh, fuck. Uh, that makes me nervous. Alright, so now this is most likely a boss fight. One that I'm not really looking forward to, because if I die, then I have to go through all of this shit again. So maybe I should put my summon sign down... Unless this isn't a boss. It might not be a boss. Actually, it's probably not a boss. I'll just give my summon sign a second. Alright, well, I killed you. And what did you drop? Dragon charm. That sounds useful. Well, maybe this isn't a boss. I don't know. It's probably a boss. Uh, nope, not a boss. Okay, cool. Great. Fantastic. Nice job. Visions of equipment breakage. That's not good. Wait, is it these guys? They do equipment breakage? Oh, yes, they do. Alright, well, I'll just shoot them with arrows. Oops. Wrong one. I wish you could get, like, exploding arrows in this game. That'd be so cool. I don't necessarily know how you would do that. But, like, those were always such cool weapons in, like, Legend of Zelda... And I wish the other games, like more modern games, quote like modern today, like even Zelda doesn't really do cool stuff like that anymore. But like if the new Tomb Raider had like explosive bombs, unless it does, I just haven't gotten them yet. Because I haven't finished that game. What? Oh, god damn it. No. Ah, fuck. Well, I guess now at least I'll get to see what's coming up. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I should have got rid of my sign. Oh, well. No risk. All reward. The Washbowl! That was the weapon I used to beat Dark Souls. The first one. I think it was. Yeah, it was like a lightning washbowl. This is a dope sword. Okay, this guy probably thinks it's a boss fight. And he's got Felicia the Brave with him. Praise the sun! All right, let's do it. This isn't a boss fight, by the way. I just really want to see what's next, so. Oh, no, don't just... Okay, good. Damn, dude, he does a lot of damage with his bow. No, you idiot! So I don't know if Felicia can break her weapon. I mean, I'm assuming she can. I don't know why she couldn't. Oh, wow, way to miss. Yeah, I'd like to know how... Oh, shit, that's a big mushroom, man. I'd like to know how to make my bow and arrow stronger. Like, I would love to do that much damage with it. I'm curious, can NPCs break their weapons? Like, is that a thing that can happen? Oh, there's a bonfire right there. Nice. Well, now I know what I need to light. I'm sure people miss it, though. Oh, more of this shit. Oh, God. <gasps> Whoa. What the hell? Oh, it's just the... What the hell? Why did he shoot it all the way up there? Oh, man, I really don't want to deal with more of this stuff. I hate these guys. Maybe there's not that much more, though. Maybe this is it. But luckily I'll get to find out now, since I'm a summon. 
because it's a good strategy. I feel like Felicia the Brave is being much more useful um, for this guy than he was being for me. Oh god, where the hell were you going? Oops. I can't lock on to him for whatever reason. What does that sound? Oh no! Peculiar Kindler. What up? Whoa. This guy's got some crazy moves. Oh shit, we never killed that guy. Fuck! God damn it. I don't want to get killed. Oh, that's right, you can't use anything as. A th Wait, I thought you could use. For some reason, I thought you could use. What's your call it? I'm gonna kill this fucking guy. Yeah! And this guy's not dead yet either. Oh no! Oh fuck me! <sighs> Damn it! I didn't even need to go running up to him. Oh well. But at least now I know that's coming. And I'm not looking forward to it. <sighs> Does that mean that? Those mushroom things are back now? No, but they will be back when I go to that bonfire. Bonfire! That was dumb. I shouldn't have died. I mean, dumb. Like, it was dumb of me to do that. I've been recording for a really long time, and I've only gotten, like, five minutes of progress. Oh, well. So the bonfire's right over here. I'm gonna rest at it. Might as well. Do these mushroom things come back after you kill them, I wonder? Whoa. That's not inconvenient at all. Oh, yeah, no, they don't. Oh, wait, yeah, they do. I see them. They're not coming towards me, though, which is good. Next time I level up stuff, I should just level up anything that increases, like, I don't, I don't know, is it, isn't it poise? Like, you're having higher poise is what helps with bow and arrow. At least I thought it was. So maybe I should look into that. Because this just takes forever sometimes. Is there another one up there? Yeah. Oh, come on. Alright. Cool beans. Let's move forward. Alright, so from here, we have two of these guys to deal with. Possibly more. Oh, shit. Fucking god, dude, these things don't quit. Okay, I can hit him from right here. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how anybody could do this without arrows. Luring it out short in cave. Um, I'm just trying to make sure I get them all. And then there's another one over here. Or I thought, where was that other one at? Oh, fuck, there's one. Ah! I ran into that myself. Is he just behind that pillar? No, he's behind that pillar. Yeah. Even if I was using, like, magic, I don't think I could hit him, right? Because to use magic, you pretty much have to lock on. I mean, I know you can, like, shoot in a direction, 
but to actually be at all accurate, I feel like you have to lock on. Okay, that just ends. And then I want to lure out these stupid things. I don't know when this phantom gets, uh, when he shows up. Can I shoot that dude from over here? No. Close, though. I am trying ranged battle. What? What killed him? Oh, that killed him. Shit. Is he gonna come after me or what? I'm just gonna kill him. No reason not to. I'm not sure how to summon that Dark Phantom. I wouldn't mind just not dealing with it at all. Ah! That's a good last minute lock on. Okay. Wait, what's over there? Fist snap. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh, I hate not being able to see. This guy just got killed by something. Wait, is that where I came from or is that where I need to go? This looks like where I need to go. Is it? Stay calm. In short confidence. What? I hope they're just talking about the boss fight. Hello. Who are you? <gasps> Whoa. That was weird and creepy. Weakness is the head. Good to know. So now we're doing a boss fight. We Ooh, weakness lighting. That's good. Uh, I'm going to put my summon sign down. Because I want to know what this boss is about. I had come a long way. This area is kind of frustrating. I want to get a chance at the boss before it actually matters. Um, I've explained this a lot of times, so I don't know why I'm still explaining it. All right, so we have Dialing Dialinger. He's got some. What? How did you get Havel's armor? I want to know how he got Havel. I know you can get the Katarina Knights uh, stuff, but how did he get Havel's? That's dope. You're only gonna summon me? All right, dude. If you have that much confidence. Oh, now I can use Estus. Weird. Why couldn't I use it before? Boss time. Oh, whoa. What the hell? Is that like a frog? Dude, it is like a frog! Ew, Gross! Oh shit, can you get cursed by it? Oh man, this thing is so cool. This is like if they made a edgy, like a... Uh, oh god. If they made a dark reboot of like Pikmin, this would be one of the monsters. Whoa. This is really depressing, though. I don't like this boss. It's really hard to tell what attacks he's doing. Fuck, man. This guy is tough. 
I'm so gonna fucking die. Oh god. Alright, so that was a pretty successful uh, summon, if you saw it. Uh, I had this sword out, but I didn't even use it, so I'm gonna put it back. Because after watching the fight, I kind of realize how I can do this. It's not really that difficult. Um, I'm pretty sure all I need to do is just get him to do the thing where he flails his arms. And then I can just run up and kind of tag him a few times. Um, I think this is one of those fights where you kind of have to stay close. And you can kind of guess that just based on uh, like what kind of attacks he does uh, when you're too far away. Plus, like we had a lot of... like. I think the biggest problem with when I was doing it, like, with summons, or with, like, being a summon, uh, is they were always not do Oh, shit. Okay, so he started off with that. But uh, what I realized is that's actually a physical attack. It's not uh, magic, even though it looks like magic. So every time he's done with his attack, he goes back in there automatically, giving you enough time to walk away. So he does, like, two or three hits with this, I thought? I oh, don't know, just two. Okay. So I need to just learn his moves if I'm going to do this like this. So... If I do the fight this way, it's actually kind of easy, and that's not even hurting me, which makes me wonder what that is. Uh, so yeah, this fight isn't hard at all. I mean, I might not be able to do it the first time, but as long as you like, it's one of those fights where the hardest thing about the fight is realizing how safe it is. And Dark Souls and Demon Souls, all the Souls games, they do that a lot. Um, it's a very common thing for them to make you think like, oh my god, this boss is crazy. I'm not going to be able to do this. Um, but then you actually see the fight and you're like, oh, actually, never mind. This is really easy. And that's kind of why the summoning system is so brilliant because sometimes you'll be a summon and you can kind of like uh, experiment with different approaches or you can uh, kind of watch the other person who's uh, being summoned or who summoned you. Um, Basically, just the multiplayer elements make interesting boss fights uh, to kind of pull back the veil a bit. They teach you what makes the hard, the fight not hard. Because I got summoned a few times, and every single person is... I got summoned like four times, and it wasn't until the last one where the people that summoned me... I think he's about to do his diving attack. Yep. So that, if anything, is like the hardest thing. But as you can see there, I was pretty much ready for it. I knew he was going to do it. So yeah, this fight isn't hard. Um, I could probably be two-handing my weapon this whole time. I could probably even have used the bigger sword with, like, uh, Pine Resin on it. Did he just attack? That's weird. He just attacked me without the skeleton hand. Strange. Uh, and then there's that move. Oh, shit, which I guess I didn't move back far enough. But, got him. Alrighty. So that's not that hard. Uh, I made a way bigger deal out of that fight than I needed to. And uh, we got the Demon of Song Soul and the Key of, to the Embedded. So not bad. I, I didn't even have to use a single Estus. So uh, that fight's not hard at all. Uh, but I did want to look at his soul. I want to read the description. Uh, where is it? There it is. When this demon developed a taste for human flesh, it was contained within the shrine of Amana. Or Amana. But the line of priestess, oh, but the line of priestess who looked after the shrine and appeased the creature have died off. Use a special, okay, so that's not really as interesting as I thought it would be. Um, I'm a little confused. Wasn't there a fog wall around here somewhere? So, I mean, I think the people that that would be hardest for, that fight, that's where I came from. Is this the way out? Okay. I think the people that had the most trouble with that fight would be people who have, like, mage builds, because you probably have light armor, and his, like, distance attacks are actually, like, the hardest ones. So now the singing stops, which is a little sad, but I also don't care. Hurrah for silence! Visions of victory, and then brief respite. Um, so there should just be a bonfire around here, right? Try right, visions of bonfire. This right? Really? This doesn't look like there's going to be a bonfire. Uh, oh, wait, maybe up here. Bonfire! Awesome. All right. So that's going to be all for this episode. It was a long episode filled with me having to edit stuff out. 
Um, but that fight, it, like, that's the thing we learned today, is that boss fight is not difficult at all. Uh, I'm actually going to go back to Majula real quick to level up a little. And, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Like this video, favorite this video, comments to you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter, at RipPandaGamer, uh, for tweets about things. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.